A breaking news update. Gunmen open fire on a group of high schoolers on their lunch break from class, killing two of them in the middle of downtown Chicago. Tonight, we are learning more about the victims of today's shooting in the loop. This is 17-year-old Montario Williams and 16-year-old Robert Boston. Their lives cut short. Tonight, CBS 2's Maribel Gonzalez updates the investigation into their deaths and shares what witnesses saw during the chaos. Maribel. Yeah, Joe and Erica, the aftermath of that incident can still be seen tonight. Take a look right behind me. Now, this is where those two victims were shot. The bullets piercing through the outside of the elevator that has since now been boarded up. And over here on this side, some of those bullets shattering the window of this museum. The families of 17-year-old Montario Williams and 16-year-old Robert Boston are grieving the loss of their teenagers. The two Innovations High School classmates were shot dead in the loop near Washington and Wabash Friday afternoon, blocks away from their school just as it was getting out for lunchtime. Community activist Andrew Holmes sharing their photos after meeting with their loved ones. And both of them are dearly hurt. The 16-year-old uh, just had a smile that he kept a smile. The 17-year-old, uh, you know, he was just trying to work hard to just go into the trade business. Uh, he didn't want to go to college. He wanted to uh, go into the trade business as a, as a painter. The deadly shooting captured on camera. Exclusive video shows both victims here on the left side of your screen. Next, a dark colored SUV pulling up and at least one person can be seen running from that vehicle and towards the victims. That person then getting back into the car before taking off. Seen here heading south on Wabash before turning on Madison. There's no confrontation. Like I said, several individuals exited two vehicles, approached the group and fired multiple times. It went through my arm. but During that shooting, Berenice Vargas says she was grazed with one of the bullets. I heard like four shots and that was all super anxious and sad and I was afraid that it hit me too by accident. It's so busy around here and like there's schools and stuff so it's definitely like alarming and kind of scary. Now we do know that those teens were walking with a group of fellow students when this happened. Police have not yet determined a motive and they're asking anyone with video or information to come forward. And so far, no arrests. Reporting live in the loop, Maribel Gonzalez, CBS 2 News. All right, Maribel, thank you.